Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at angles created by secant. And we're looking at some secant segments. And a secant is a line that goes through a circle in two places. So we have this line over here, AY is a secant segment, and AX is a secant segment, and we have angle A outside the circle. We need to find the measure of that angle A. Now there's a neat little formula you can learn to find that angle measure. And what you're doing is you're looking inside the mouth. So if this is a mouth, inside the mouth we have two arcs. We have a small arc and we have a large arc. So when I refer to those, if I say small arc, I'm talking about this small one on the inside of the mouth and this large one on the inside of the mouth. Okay, we're gonna take the big arc, which is 120 in this case, um, minus the small arc, Yes, that's minus. And we're going to take the difference and divide by 2. So let's plug in some numbers. Okay, the larger arc is 120. The smaller arc is 40. I'm going to subtract those to get 80 and divide by 2. So this angle A is 40 degrees. Now this angle just happened to be the same as the arc. That's not typical. So don't think you just take that arc and stick it down there. You actually have to subtract and divide by 2 but that is how you find that angle. So let's look at the rules. Okay, the rules for finding angles created by secants. You take the big arc minus the small arc, divide by two to get the angle measure. And here's a second example of that. We're gonna take uh, angle or arc y, WX, the large arc, minus YZ, the small arc, and we're gonna divide by two. Let's plug in the number so I've replaced WX with 80 minus 20 and divide by 2. So 80 minus 20 is 60 divided by 2. So angle 1 out here is indeed 30 degrees. Hope this video was helpful.